For more than four decades, Voyager 2 has been traveling quietly, further and further away from the warmth of the sun, drifting beyond the last familiar planets, past the Kuiper belt, and into regions of space that, until recently, existed only in theory. Launched in 1977, this probe was built at a time when computers were slower than today's simplest phones, and yet it has outlived every expectation placed upon it. It was supposed to fade into silence, its signal swallowed by distance, its instruments falling one by one into dormancy. But against all odds, Voyager 2 continues to whisper back across billions of kilometers of emptiness. And what it whispered recently was not routine. It was something that forced scientists to pause, to reevaluate everything they thought they knew. Voyager 2 had crossed into a new realm, and in doing so, it confirmed a truth humanity had always feared but rarely dared to articulate. The edge of our solar system is not a blur, it is a wall. And beyond it, something changes. This edge is known as the heliopause, the point where the sun's influence ends and the interstellar medium begins. For decades, astronomers imagined this transition as something gentle, like mist dissolving into air. The solar wind, they believed, would gradually weaken until it was indistinguishable from the wider galactic environment. But when Voyager 2 reached this boundary, the data it returned shattered those assumptions. The change was not smooth, it was sudden, as though the spacecraft had punched through a membrane. One moment it was inside the solar system's protective bubble, the next it was thrust into a space dominated by alien forces. Instruments recorded a dramatic rise in cosmic radiation, spikes of over 70 percent, alongside a sudden increase in plasma density and a sharp shift in magnetic field structure. It was like stepping through a doorway into an entirely different room, one with rules and dangers of its own. For scientists, this was staggering. The heliosphere, once thought to be a vague and theoretical concept, revealed itself to be an actual shield. Inside it, the chaos of the galaxy is muted, its violence softened by the constant outpouring of the sun's wind and magnetic field. Outside it, the mask is ripped away. Voyager 2 was no longer coasting through a calm emptiness. It was entering a storm. The galaxy, it turned out, is not a passive backdrop. It is active, restless, and filled with hazards we are only beginning to measure. And the sharpness of that transition suggested that our home system isn't simply floating aimlessly in space. It is wrapped in a protective bubble that separates us from forces we still don't understand. What unsettled researchers even more was the nature of this barrier. It was not a static shell. Voyager 2's data, along with earlier results from Voyager 1, revealed that the heliosphere breathes. Its boundaries expand and contract in rhythm with the sun's 11-year activity cycle. When the sun is active, spewing out strong solar winds, the heliosphere pushes outward, stretching its bubble against the galaxy. When the sun quiets down, the shield weakens, drawing inward and allowing galactic radiation to seep closer to Earth. And this cycle does not create a perfect sphere. Instead, the bubble is distorted, shaped by interactions with the surrounding interstellar medium, taking on a comet-like form with a tail streaming away from the direction of galactic flow. In other words, the protection around Earth is not constant, nor is it symmetrical. It changes with time, it shifts with solar moods, and it is thinner than we once hoped. Our cosmic shield is fragile. The reality of that fragility became clear in 2019, when Voyager 2 experienced an event that shook mission controllers. After more than 40 years of steady communication, the probe suddenly went silent. For hours, its instruments stopped, its transmission ceased, and its ancient systems seemed to collapse. Engineers feared the worst, that the spacecraft had finally succumbed to the cold, harsh conditions of interstellar space. Then, as mysteriously as it had gone dark, Voyager 2 came back online, its systems rebooted, its instruments restored. The official explanation cited aging hardware and possible software glitches. Yet buried in technical reports were mentions of anomalies that raised new questions. Spikes in electromagnetic activity, unusual fluctuations in the magnetic field, and bursts of particle energy recorded just before the blackout. Some scientists suggested that Voyager 2 had passed through a pocket of highly energized plasma, 
perhaps the remnant of a distant supernova or ripple carried through the interstellar medium. Others wondered whether the probe had encountered something stranger, a layer of space we didn't know existed, with properties that our models had never accounted for. If that was the case, then what happened to Voyager 2 was not a failure of its systems. It was a reaction to the unknown. The more Voyager 2 traveled, the clearer it became that interstellar space is not a calm void, but a turbulent ocean. Its instruments began recording fluctuations in radiation and plasma density that appeared in rhythmic patterns, like weather systems shifting and colliding. Waves of high-energy particles swept through in bursts, sometimes aligning with known galactic events like distant supernova remnants, other times showing no obvious cause. Magnetic fields twisted and bent in sudden jolts, almost like storms brewing beyond the reach of the sun. This was the first direct evidence of space weather beyond our solar system, a phenomenon once dismissed as poetic exaggeration but now proven to be real. And then came one of the strangest discoveries of all, the magnetic alignment. Scientists had long expected the sun's magnetic field and the galaxy's magnetic field to clash violently at the boundary. Yet when Voyager 2 crossed, it found the two fields nearly aligned, as if they had been synchronized. This defied expectations. Either the heliosphere had slowly sculpted the local galactic field into alignment over millions of years, or our solar system was born into a region of space already harmonized with the Sun. Both explanations carry staggering implications. If the former, then our star is more powerful than we realized, capable of shaping the very structure of the galaxy around it. If the latter, then our interstellar neighborhood is not random, it is ordered, possibly on scales far larger than we imagine. From this revelation, a whisper began circulating among theorists and mission insiders. What if the heliosphere is not just a protective bubble? What if it functions like a threshold, one that responds when crossed? The sharpness of the transition, the sudden spikes in radiation, the strange magnetic alignment, it all suggested something more than a simple boundary. Some researchers proposed that the heliopause might act as a kind of checkpoint, not in the sense of intelligent design, but as a natural structure that records or exposes anything that passes through it. If true, then Voyager 2 did not simply slip quietly into interstellar space. It announced itself. That thought becomes all the more haunting when one remembers what Voyager carries. Bolted to its side is the golden record, a disc of copper plated in gold, etched with the sounds of Earth, the greetings of humanity, and a star map pointing back to our home. For decades, this was celebrated as one of our species' most hopeful gestures, an attempt to say, we are here, and we are reaching out. But in light of Voyager's discoveries, some now see it differently. If the heliopause is a gate, if it reacts, if it signals, then what does it mean that the first probe to pierce it carried a map directly to our home? Did we extend a hand, or reveal a vulnerability? Voyager 2 was never expected to last long enough to face these questions. And yet here it is, carrying our voice across a frontier we barely understand, through a region that feels less like a void and more like a storm. It has shown us that our solar system is not drifting aimlessly. It is shielded, protected by a fragile, dynamic boundary. Beyond that boundary lies a realm of turbulence, currents, and structures we can barely comprehend. The heliosphere is not just a shell of plasma, it is a threshold, sharp, reactive, and alive. And Voyager 2 has crossed it. Now, decades after its launch, the spacecraft continues to drift, deeper into the unknown. What it has already taught us is profound. The galaxy beyond is not silent. It is structured. It is dangerous. And it is closer than we ever imagined. The question that lingers, echoing in the silence between stars, is whether Voyager 2 remains only an explorer, or whether, by carrying its golden message across the threshold, it has become a signal.